Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect. It's been quite a while since we've done any series on this game. There's been standalone videos but nothing of any great length so I thought it was about time that we uh, jump back on this thing. But here's, here's the deal, right? I was <laughs> I was in Scotland a couple of days ago taking a long overdue break from the computer, email, Twitter, social media and just life in general. Sometimes you just need to get away from things and uh, recharge and that's what that was. But on the way back from that I was thinking well what can I actually do as a series because I know, the, I know that the previous one was coming to an end and I thought what about Prison Architect? I haven't featured that in a while. I do fancy giving it a go so let, let's try that. And lo and behold I come back and A the Steam Summer Sale has begun and B Update 14 is now out and that adds several things but it's mainly about uh, prisoners being able to go over walls now. Instead of tunnelling under, they can now go over. You've also got a roll call, as well as some graphs and other features and things like that. But it's going to be full series format. We're going to plan it and build it and uh, see how far we get. Let's just go to create new prison. I want to go fairly default, so male, prisoner, uh, male prisoners with default warden. I'm not going to select any of the other ones. We're going to go for a medium sized map. Fog of war on uh, forests on lakes. Why not? We'll give that a go. Generate buildings no. Philly conditions on gangs. I don't think I want to go with gangs for the time being. We will have events though, not weather weather and temperature. Uh, staff needs, uh, yes, let's give that a go. Actually, yes, yeah, let's keep that staff needs on. I do like that update. Um, weather and temperature, I always want to turn it on because I like the idea of it, but I'm not too fussed on the micromanagement of just placing radiators all over the place. Uh, the escape plans is the new feature now which enables prisoners to go over the wall rather than under, so we're going to definitely put that on. Not unlimited funding and not uh, having the tools and cheats on. There are mutators as well, so you've got danger zone, extra challenge. Um, let's see if we can put something else on. Needy prisoners, get me out of here. Uh, prisoners are far more likely to try and dig their way out of the prison, removing any usual limits on escape tunnels. You know what? I think we will just leave that off as standard since it's been quite a while and since we played this. We're not going to have Warden mode on. We'll uh, probably go for, it, like I say, a fairly standard a fairly standard game here. But um, after we've done this one, if we want to try something else with mutators or other things, then we can. We've done many gangs before and loads of mutators and weather and stuff. So, you know, this is uh, actually a bit different. And oh my, that's immediately going to cause us a bit of an issue. We've got a huge lake right in the centre. But, um, well, that's what we've been given. Oh, and it's down here as well. Right. This is going to be um, a bit different, isn't it? So what we're going to do is go over to reports and to our intake. We're going to turn that off for the time being because obviously we certainly don't want to be receiving prisoners just yet. Over to Grant's basic detention centre and the administration centre. Grant, there we go. 55 grand in the kitty. So we will go to planning and walls and obviously we do need to wall this thing off. Now normally I would measure the centre and things like that, but quite frankly with the... Uh, with the situation being given here, it's just not going to happen. So what we'll do is we will try and, well, we'll not, not, not try, we definitely will be working around all of the lakes and such. Now I'm not going to bother probably in uh, giving or getting every bit of space so we're not going to be like doing this like you know around the lakes. I don't think that's strictly necessary. We'll try and do uh, the best we can like so. But the problem we have here is that there's so much water that uh, we might have an issue in uh, keeping prisoners in here. Um, probably go up one and then we can just go straight across and then maybe down a little bit and then across and then there's no point in going down there and up and then we want to go up to there. So that's, that's that bit of wall. We do need to work around this though and I think it would be best if we um, work down to there. Like so, then a long and round. So obviously leaving a one gap around the water, I think that's normally the way to do it. Uh, just because you sometimes have uh, some issues with that one. Obviously we are trying to utilise as much space as we can without it being just a big mess of, uh, of wall. There we are, and then up here. And then, do we go into that bit there? Well there's no real reason because you can't really place things there, although to be fair, we could, we might end up having different buildings in here. So, there is the outside perimeter wall. Now here's the problem. The latest update, and I'll go through the uh, additions now, adds the ability to go over the wall. So what happens is prisoners who work in the laundry, or I'm guessing these things can be traded as well, uh, the prisoners will go and get five prison uniforms, they will tie them together for a makeshift rope or climbing apparatus and fling it over the wall and climb over said wall. 
that is a problem. Also, prisoners were strong and, I believe, extra strong or whatever whatever it's called, super strong, uh, strong plus, whatever it is, they can climb over fences. Not walls, but they can climb over chain link fences. So we have to stop both of these. Now, having this here, this um, lake, is a bit of an issue because they could probably climb over here and then walk all the way around. But I don't know about building in there. Let's just check that straight away. We'll go over to the materials and fence and we can see that, oh, actually, yes, you can build along here. So it might be a good idea for me to extend the wall so it goes um, all the way right along the lake like that because then that'll give me a little bit more, a little bit more space, which obviously we are um, sorely lacking in the... Uh, in areas around here, but also it means that then they can't run along the edge of the water. Now, I wasn't really too bothered anyway, quite frankly, because what I was going to do is put like a sniper tower here, and it can see across the entire lake and has the range to um, execute as well. So I can uh, crack on with that. When I say execute, I don't mean execute prisons, I mean it has the range to execute its um, abilities, so straight across sniper, things like that. Um. Although the farmer might also be accurate. But we do, I think, want to get as much space as possible. I would be tempted in restarting this to uh, get some more space. But you know what? Let's just let's just try and work with what we've been given. I mean, it's it will be a challenge and something that I don't normally do. This is different. Normally we go for a fairly flat map. But this makes it a bit different and a bit interesting, I think. So we'll work to the end here. Just obviously working with all the fences. I know it's a bit tedious working with fences. And you're thinking, oh, just get on with it. But this is this is important that we get this right from the get-go. And I think that is about right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run pause it there. Um, and we will probably stop it. Actually... Yeah, let's stop it. We'll go to rooms, over to, uh, doesn't really matter for the time being, but well, we're just going to change it to um, deliveries and storage. So I'm just going to temporarily put some deliveries, some store, uh, sorry, deliveries, um, some garbage, and exports, which is the main one that I want, uh, about there. Because what we'll do is we will go over to objects and dismantle and we will dismantle all of the trees now obviously putting all of these trees on here is a bit time consuming to get rid of but they also give you cash which is why it's good because you can do logging now get rid of all of these just do a quick once over trying to get rid of all of the trees and then we'll go back to get all of the uh, the ones that we've missed out because there inevitably will be some that we have missed so there we go just wiping over all of these be nice if it was a click and drag get rid of, but it's not, sadly. Um, there's a very big variation. There's a large variation in the type of trees that we've got. So we've got some palm trees. We've got some um, some evergreens. I think some is that oak? That's probably oak, not an evergreen. Then I guess is it oak and evergreen? No, um, it's a deciduous tree, I think. Um, and we got some. Uh, have we got some pine? I think that might be pine. Anyway, so we'll go for all of that. There's that cleared. So what'll happen is the workers will come along and they're gonna they're gonna get rid of all of those, and then they'll sell the logs and we'll get more money. Uh, we're currently making 840 generic units of currency a day, which is good. So here's the thing, right? This is going to be wall. This is not going to be fence. This is going to be wall. However, um, because of the space limitations, we're not really going to have, as far as I can tell, an, another exterior wall. As in, we're not gonna have a double. A double uh, linked wall which is a big 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 problem because it means the prisoners can jump over however we can use this water to our advantage right so we can have that so they can't um, cross this section so this can be open to the back that's okay well, actually what we'll do is we'll put a wall there then it is a double wall that's fine um, but things like this what we'll do is we'll have buildings here so they can't then go over this that's important this one we can leave it open again no problem here um, and then this one here we'll have to have probably buildings on this side so they can't, can't climb over that uh, and this side as well but we'll just see how it goes it's certainly not gonna be a symmetrical prison because of the uh, walls and other things that we got on many of the lakes but anyway um, I want to have a fairly centralised yard, so probably around here, and then we'll also have, I think, a, I want to include a workshop from the beginning and have uh, prisoners work, and I think it's just because it's something different. So let's just think about the idea of having um, maybe pathways along there, pathway along here, pathway down there, 
and we want an internal size of probably 12 like that so that is about correct there and that should be 12 by it doesn't really matter 12 by 37 apparently but that's going to be our yard in there okay we'll have a canteen which goes below i know we're building this in a weird weird way but that's fine i can deal with that um again trying something a bit different something a bit uh Something a bit uh, off from what we usually do. This could be our canteen. Don't know what size of uh, prison this is going to be. I have no idea. I haven't really uh, thought about it too much. But, as always, we're going to try and do the best we can. Now, I think we need an area that's going to be for staff only. And, quite frankly, this northern bit here would probably make sense. In fact, if we were going to do that, we could have this bit here as offices and things like that this will all be building and that sort of thing and then we'll have a uh, area for cooking and then we'll have the canteen around here and then all the cells around here that makes a little bit more sense so let's let's work on that premise and see how far we get now the problem with it being up here is that the entrance ideally wants to be there as well but it's very very close to here which you don't want the entrance near the top because that's where the trucks come in so you want it further down south that's a problem we might have to change that do we want to change it so we have it coming in here or rather we have the uh, all the stuff stuff around here well no because that's a fairly secure area so we, we are going to go work on the principle of being around here so we'll have to have an entrance maybe say about midway down and then we'll sort of bring it back up so let's go for an entrance um around about there but let's let's actually work back over from things like the generator and stuff like that so we need objects so it's going to be a five by five which will be our generator which can be situated right in the corner there we'll then have, also have a water um a water pump which will be that and then we'll have a wall that'll go around like so and that'll be our uh, our utilities area we might need more than one utilities in fact i think i or well, actually almost certainly we will do because i'm going to have a workshop from the get-go so let's work on the idea that that is going to happen so i will place a hmm, i'll have a gap of two we'll have some uh yeah, gap of two because we don't want these to connect that that's the last thing that we want um and then we'll have a three by three which is going to be our our water as well and then we'll just run a wall down there and then that section's all done so obviously a little bit of gapage there but you know that's fine we can handle that although we could make it more efficient but let's just work on so four by four let's make it a five by five let's be generous there and this is going to be our staff area so we'll have diff different areas for all the staff so it's going to be a five by five normally it's a four by four we go with for each of the staff officers but uh, we'll give it a little bit a little bit extra on this one Again, try not to be super efficient to what we got. I mean, I'm not deliberately making it less efficient. I'm just saying that, you know, we've got the space and let's just make it a bit different. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We don't need six. We only need the five. The sixth person will be the psychologist, which will be in the infirmary around about wherever we put it, but certainly not in a staff only area. So in no particular order, it'll be warden, secretary, secretary, not secretary. There's no such thing as secretary in the game, is there? Uh, warden, um... Uh, lawyer, accountant, chief, foreman. Yeah, there you go. And uh, the foreman will head off to... Actually, we might not even need the foreman because the foreman will probably be heading off and working with the prisoners um, for when, the, when we're doing the... Um, when we're doing the teaching. So we'll see about that one. Either way, there's that set. So, we now have a couple of other areas that we need to place. So, we need a staff room. We need a fairly big staff room, actually, because of the amount of staff that we'll probably have here. So, we will work on the principle of uh, one, two, three, four, five. That'll be fine. Don't need a six, so that's fine. So, we'll have a fairly big staff room, which is currently 12 by 9. Let's make it 12 by 10. There you are. And then back here, this will be... Well, this will be the staff room, and this will be the staff canteen. That's what those two are, okay? We'll have a corridor that will obviously connect all of these. Uh, we'll go for a double corridor, because we're being generous on this one. Like so. There's no reason why this wall can't move, by the way. And what we need is an area for CCTV. There we go. We didn't need an area for probably dogs and armory, which can be... 
Actually, we'll probably shrink the CCTV down just a little bit. So this will be door control, dogs, CCTV, that sort of thing. Uh, not dogs, sorry. Um, CCTV, door openers, um, areas for phone taps. So 8x6. We'll go for another 8x6, uh, which will be uh, that one, will it? Uh, yes. And then this will be dogs. So we have no particular order. Are these all 8x6s? Oh, well, that worked out, didn't it? So we've got security cctv other such things we've got armory and we've got dogs in there that's what all that is okay so we now have another area here which um, doesn't really have a purpose so we're going to have the entrance where probably around here ish like i said i just want it further down so we'll have this sort of like that maybe 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 a bit larger um sort of we'll go for a 10 by 8 i think that should be sufficient 10 by 8, like so. Yeah, that'll be our entrance way. Um, we want to have... Um, actually, I want to connect that up to there. Right. And that'll be our entrance. Double entrance there. And I think a tree just... Oh, yeah, tree was just fall, <laughs> tree was just uh, fallen there. Our entrance way there. In there, in there. Um, then do I want to go up there? No, 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 that's not what we want at all. We don't want that. There's our entrance. But the problem is it's no, it's not a double one. We probably want something like that. Alright. And then we'll have staff only going up here. Right. And then down here, we'll have visitors. Ah. Yeah, visitors and things like that that's that's actually fine because we can have a, a visitors thing here in terms of what prisoners we're going to have I haven't yet decided I have no idea um, we can have three by three uh, we could probably even go the other way no we can't that's okay though so we can go for the visitor tables like so yeah we could go for a three by two visitor table or we could go for the 2v2 visitor tables uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 12 14 16 visitor tables yeah I think that's probably sufficient for the amount of prisons that we're probably going to have but again I don't know what type of prisoners nor what size of prisoner um so that'll be the entrance in there for those, and then we'll have the bits around here, and then finally at the back we'll have an entrance there as well. So there's going to be three entrances. This is staff only. This technically um, isn't staff only, nor is it um, visitor only. Anyone can go in there, but just where the entrances are, we've um, got that like that. I probably want to realistically, though, make it a bit larger, just because it means we can then have... We could then have the uh, can then have the metal detectors and such. So we could do say that and have metal detector there. Yes, that that I think is a bit better. Okay, there we go. Right, so building down here, fairly large building. This is going to be a couple of things. We'll have our storage in here probably. Um, yeah, there's a storage. There you go. And this one, probably only a one door, staff door, you see. And this is going to be where we're going to be cooking. All right. And then we have to have a canteen. So the canteen can be this. Like that. Fairly large, but we can also have at the back, say, phone booths and things like that and have a separate section. That seems to speak to me and work out. Yeah, I think, I think we'll go with that. All right. So that's going to be our canteen. Again, sizes to be determined, things to be changed, you get the idea. Um, what we don't have, though, is any pathways. So we're going to double pathway this all the way along. And quite frankly, I think because of the way this has worked out, I think we will probably move our yard to here and have that as a yard as well. We could have two yards. This is a yard and this is a yard with exercise benches in it and stuff. That'll work out. That'll look quite nice. Well, let's do that, because why not? Okay, we now need... Um, some cell blocks and and some shower blocks and many many other buildings so speaking of many many other buildings they are going to be down here and this is something I said at the start that I want to have these as uh, buildings for 
the reason that you can't then jump over this wall. It is a size currently of 12 by, doesn't matter because we're going to split these into multiple buildings. Multiple buildings, what's their purpose? Well, there's going to be several, but we'll go through them individually, so it'll be things like chapel and shop and things like that. And just, we'll just work them across here, okay? There's that, fine. Um, cells, where are cells going to go? Well, currently we haven't got a cell around here. This could be a nice, side, nice, a nice place to put a big row of cells. Problem with that is that it's right exposed to this wall, which is an issue. So, what we'll do... Ah, no, I can't really double wall it. If I double wall it, then there's no real purpose of it being there. Okay, new plan. I think we'll have a pathway going along here. There you are. Obviously shrink this down to the proper size. There you are. Um, we've also got bits here that we can have. We can have a wall along here and there. And that will be things like the laundry and parole and stuff. But all these will be the buildings on here. We've got weird size bit thing here. So we can change that if we need to. We can have these as different things. All this is going to be different buildings. And we'll add them later on. But we're mainly thinking about now. Actually, this is probably going to be the shower. That would be a decent shower. It's about the right size as well. So, let's think about having our cell block all the way along here. Let's go for that. Let's go for that. So, we'll have the cell block. I was going to put um, a, a workshop though around here. Do I want a workshop? I don't know. I do want a workshop, but where, where am I going to put it? I could put it here. I could put it something like that. Yeah, that, that could work. That could work. Um, all these are right next to each other, as you can see, but I'm actually going to start changing it so we have pathways like that and that. So you've got a gap of two around, around the buildings now. Again, just to give it something a bit different, just from different from what I've done before. Um, so if that was the case, these walls would go to there. I'm going to put that as a double fence, because quite frankly, that's just a nightmare to deal with otherwise. Double fence like that. That's still not fence. Third time's, third time's a charm. There we go. I'm actually going to max speed out because the uh, workmen are taking a long time. Yes, there we are. Okay, so. Pathways. You can see there's a lot of separation in here. There we are. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's, that's okay. I can... I like that. Mm, prefer this to be a bit different, but, you know, that's what we've got. I'm deliberately... I'm not deliberately trying to make it sloppy or inefficient, but I'm also conscious of the fact that I tend to build my prisons in a certain way, and it's just very samey. So trying to make it a bit different, for, for whatever reason, I think can only be, uh, only be alright. So, what I'll do is I'm going to break this up here. And up here. And we'll have a pathway running straight through the middle of both of these, yeah? Then we'll go to walls. And do that. Alright? And I know this is shrinking the lot of prisoners that we have. But I'm not too bothered. Right? And there's your cell blocks. So along there, along this side, some in the centre. They're all different sizes. 26. 31. Hang on, sorry. 31, yes, correct. And 34. Alright. Low, medium, high? Could do that. Could do that. Or high, me uh, low, medium, high? Don't know. Not sure. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. So, there's the cell blocks. Shower. Probably in this corner here. Um, and we've got loads of space over this this area here for things such as um, forestry. We haven't done forestry. We could have a forestry area here. That's something that uh, we haven't done in quite a while, and that would work out with this with this um, area here. I do like the idea of that. 
Um, we haven't got any solitary. That needs to change. We do need to add some solitary. Um, clean the cupboard. Yep, all that sort of stuff down here. No problem. So, I think we will have... If this is going to be forestry, because it's all it's all over the place, this thing. We'll have forestry all the way around here. Up to... I think that. Yeah? We'll go with that. So, all of this up here will be forestry. This bit... Hmm. What can we have there? I'm not sure. What is apparent is that I am losing a lot of space for the double gap. If I do that, I've still got the separation, but we just gain a bit more. And I think that's better. I would also might. I also want to do that probably. Just because then this building does have the separation. This one doesn't, though, which is a shame. Although I could easily add that. Mm, no, let's let's just go with the original idea. That. All right. So this was originally going to be a yard. I might change that to shower or something. We could even have open air showers. I think showers. Requirements shower head. Doesn't need to be inside. Why not? Why not? Go for something different. Go for something different. Okay. I think... A wall across there as well. I think we're about done. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, we'll probably double wall that there. Like that. Just try and stop people getting out. Could shift this in, but no real point. Right. Okay. Okay. I think we might shift this wall along. This uh, pathway along to the left and then increase the size of that one in both of these. That would then follow the same convention as the rest of the stuff. And gives a little bit more space. Alright. Yeah. That seems okay. Right, I think that's our rough idea for our prison. Very square. Who would have thought? With uh, the tools that we have. <laughs> Many square ones. Um, yeah, rough idea. Obviously to be improved, as always. But, I think we've got it down. Very different. These lakes and such are going to make a massive difference in... Well, already have made a massive difference in the way we build things. And uh, will definitely continue as we progress on throughout the series, giving us issues and things to work around. And when we expand, remember, it will increase the size of the lakes and such. So, yeah, I like this. Bit different, bit different. So, that is the proposed idea. Next episode, we'll crack on and we'll start building. Won't get prisoners for at least two or three episodes. At least. We are mainly working on the grants, so basic detention centre, administration centre, um, probably inmate health and well-being, um, staff initiatives, uh, prison maintenance perhaps, yeah, yeah, uh, visitation rights, all of these we can get before we even have prisoners on site. So we're going to leave it there. Next episode, we'll crack on and we'll see how far we get. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Any comments, drop them in there and uh, we'll try and incorporate that into the series when I can. Obviously, this is uh, a lot of pre-record, so I'll get to it when I can. But um, yeah, I think that's a decent start, that. Not bad, not bad. Anyway, as I said, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.